Artosis here, bringing you another Moonlight Pro League. This is going to be a big match between the team of Zealot, Scan, and Barracks going up against Saxory, Shine, and Ruin. We are starting off here today with Zealot against Shine. So a Zerg versus Zerg to start this match off. We have right here in the top left under the ID a YSU201. Uh, this is Shine, and then in the bottom right here, Ring Lover, this is Zealot. So we have a couple of pretty aggressive Zergs going at it. It's been a while since we've had a ZBZ on the channel, so I'm kind of excited about this, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, before this really picks up, I do want to ask you to please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that notification button as well. Barely 50% of the people who watch these videos are actually subbed, so yeah, I'd appreciate it if you would follow. I put a lot of work in the channel. Hope you enjoy. All right, so the map that we are starting out on here today is Revolver. Uh, it is a ladder map. It's in ASL and everything as well. Pretty popular map so far. I'm trying to think of how it really affects Zerg vs. Zerg. There are two entrances to your natural, so that, that could play a bit of a role. Uh, you know, you have like the small entrance, we can't see it quite yet, but a couple of eggs on the ramp, so it makes a very small entrance that you could guard with just a few eggs, but then a very big entrance on the side. So I'm not sure how easy it will be to actually hold a natural here, you may have to really utilize sunkens, uh, but we'll see about that. Now, uh, we see that Zealot is going for the hatchery first at the natural, and Shine up here going just for pool and gas. Now. The thing is, it's Zerg versus Zerg, right? So everyone has to be able to be very aggressive. But these two, as I mentioned, are pretty aggressive overall. Uh, Shine is a player that is like a very sneaky, brainy aggressive, right? He's he's pretty cheesy, but a lot of it has to do with mind games and tricking his opponent. Zealot, I would say, is a little bit more straightforward on his cheese. He's got very good micro. He's got a good killer instinct, and he just plays kind of an aggressive game. So I'm trying to think of how that's going to affect Zerg versus Zerg and... Like, I don't, I don't know that it will too, too much, right? Because basically, we've already seen that Shine has chosen to be the, uh, the, the player who's teching more quickly. You will have Zerglings out a little bit faster, but are they likely to do damage here? No, this isn't like a dedicated nine pool speed type of situation. He is making lings. I can't imagine Zealot losing the hatch or anything. And of course, when you're going for such a quick layer and your opponent is going for the expansion, generally what happens is you'll have a big Ling Flood coming out of the other Zerg player because they do have the additional larva from the natural hatchery. So that's kind of what I'm looking at here from Zealot. I think we should see some more Zergling aggression, whereas from Shine it does look like it's more of a rush into those Mutalisks. Now this is really interesting. Uh, he's blocking this ramp. Obviously the eggs make it a lot smaller, a lot easier to, to block such a big ramp. Uh, but he's actually going second hatchery in the main, which you do not see as often. Uh, this will give him a lot more larva. He should be able to defend relatively easily because of this. Uh, and obviously we're going to see the spire go down in just a second here. Where's that spire at? Here we go. Alright, spire being made. So he is pretty well ahead on that. The layer not quite done. About 75-80% done here uh, for Zealot. But... He does have the second hatch already. You see a ton of lings already have been made. This overlord going to get up here for a bit of a scout, same time as Shine's. And of course, Shine sees that there is that additional hatchery. So now he has to decide how to play that. Now, his his spire is quicker, but it's not so much quicker. Like, he is going to get Mutalisks out first. But I also could see with like the quicker second hatchery, you have so many more larvae. Like, maybe we'll see pressure put on from Zealot. I feel like we have to if he doesn't want to make spores. So we may see him try to attack out, but there's no way that Shine can die to the pressure, right? Because he's got two hatcheries and he's holding one ramp. So even though he's had less larva overall, like, he'll have plenty of Zerglings. You're just, you're not going to break this ramp with Lings, I think. It seems impossible to me. We'll see. Zealot is flooding Lings over right now, which is just, like I mentioned, a pretty common play in this, this situation. And this should at least buy him time to give some Mutas out. Now you see he's attacking up a couple at a time. Ooh, that was beautiful. Both of those with two health left. That's actually really fantastic for Zealot. Okay, he's moving up with more Lings now, but you can see that Surf's area. We're getting more hits out 
from Shine. Zot having a hard time trying to break this ramp. A lot of micro back and forth. It's like very difficult to keep these concaves as good as possible. Okay, so Shine once again starting to take it. You see Sling's glitching a little bit there while he tries to hold this area. See if he's able to break through. We have Mutas coming out on both sides. So the first Mutas from Shine going to come down. And that's going to push back the Lings. Okay, so Shine holds that pretty easily as expected. Uh, but I think that this is pretty clearly like a part of the plan, right, from, from Zealot. He has his second gas up, so he should be able to outproduce Shine as far as Mutalisks go relatively quickly. And the Lings bought him the time to do that. Now, is there any possibility that Shine can utilize his Lings? Like maybe because the Mutas killed off some Lings, something like that. But it looks like right now... Uh, the Mutalist is going to search the map. He's going to find some other Zerglings. He's looking for Overlord Zerglings, anything that's out there, since he does have air control right now. But I'm not sure how long that's really going to last. Quite a few Mutas being made here uh, from Zealot. He does have six Mutas plus some Scourge. Okay, flying up. Ooh, pulling back. Six Mutas and some Scourge here as well. And looks like that Overlord going to end up dying. Okay, this should get pretty fast and furious from this point. And, ooh, great micro onto those Scourge from uh, from Zealot there. A lot of damage being gone down. It doesn't seem, it looks like we've only had one Scourge actually connect so far. But Zealot's actual amount seems to be going up. He has up three drones during all of this as well. So good micro from Shine. Oh no, actually does fail there a little bit. So very, very painful indeed. Losing some of his Mutalisks. And you can see it's just a larger Mutalisk stack. We have seven Mutas against four here. Obviously some more being made at home. But his gas income is half that of Zealot's. So I think at this point, if Zealot just floods a few more Mutas, like get up to like 11, right? Or however many that you actually have the money for, and then flood Scourge out. And that should give this game, I would imagine, to Zealot. It's really hard to imagine uh, Shine being able to come back with the one gas. He does have a lot of Lings, so it looks like he's going to try to rely upon those. You know, if you can pull the Mutas out of position, maybe your Lings can do the damage. There's not that many Lings out here for Zealot, so I think it's an okay plan, especially when you don't really have anything else to do, right? Okay, a lot of Scourge on both sides, but look at these Muta counts. Six against uh, nine, so that's that's a huge difference. Plus, we're near these hatches. Okay, so he's going to dive to the main. This is going to pull the Mutas back uh, from Zealot, and then his Lings can hit. So this is the tactic, the ploy that Shine's going to try to use to be able to win this game. We're going to see if that works out for him. Okay, he runs away from the Mutas and Scourge. The Lings get into the natural here, and they are going after that hatchery. We're going to see... It, I mean, it looks like it isn't going to get it. There's just too many Mutas. His own Mutas fly back into that main base and try to get some harassment done. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the plan just didn't work. It was a good idea, and he knocked the drone count way down. He's got, like, a drone lead, but the Needless count is so high. These Scourge kind of being wasted from Zealot, and let's take a look. Okay, five Mutas there. We got eight Mutas here, and it's mostly Lings we made. Look, Evolution Chamber plus Creep Colony. So it looks like Shine realizes he's just so far behind in that Needless race. He's not going to be able to hold in pure Muta versus Muta. His Muta is going across the map. For some counter harassment, it looks like, while we have the Overlords cleaned up in the center from Zealot, I feel like this game is coming to a head at this point. Like, Shine is running out of tricks and tactics to get anything done. He is getting Zergling speed just now, because why not? You're not going to catch up on Mutas. Maybe another good Zergling attack can make something happen. Like, if he could knock down this hatchery, then suddenly they're on an equal number of gas, and then he just has to be efficient in some other way. But here we go. The Mutas diving into the main base. He is getting quite a few drones, but I think he's going to get boxed in at this point. Look at this. The huge amount of news getting on top of it. Oh, a little bit of Miss Micro there, I think, from Zealot. The Scourge from Shine coming up for that flank. And they are going to get some good connections with the moving shot, catching most of the Mutas. Shine with just two getting out of there. We have over a group of Mutas here at this point for, for uh, Zealot. And yeah, he's going to fly across the map, and he should be able to end this game. Look at this, flies into the Scourge, catches them, guns them down oh so quickly. There are a couple of spores over here, but honestly, with all of these Lings coming up as well, the Sunken the spores should not be able to be enough. Let's see how many the spore can kill. It probably can get a lot of the Mutas, but 
that, of course, not going to hold on. Uh, there is a counterattack. Like, look, Shine is making the best of this terrible situation. A lot of really great tactics coming out of him. Uh, and it looks like his sunken colony will end up holding on against those Zerglings. But he's got to go ahead and GG. Zealot wins game one.